Hello everyone, my name is Damon, and before we get into this, you might be wondering why today's episode is not Pokemon Crystal. You might also be wondering why I haven't uploaded in about a week, but that's not exactly important right now. What is important is what we are playing today. My name is Damon, and welcome to Secret of the Corral, an RPG Maker game on itch.io. Um... More specifically, a game made by Internet's Stephen George. Now, full disclosure, this is not exactly a blind playthrough as I not only have seen the first 20 of the game, I was also there and watched the entire 10 hour stream in which Stephen George decided to make an RPG Maker MZ game, I think this is, and it was an experience. Now. The reason why I'm playing this is not only did Steven suggest that people that wanted to stream or speedrun this do so, or record it, or, or whatever, but that after he did the first 20, he also added some interesting extras to, to this. If you don't know who Steven George is, he is a, uh, a Let's Player on YouTube, usually records... Well, not usually. Sometimes records by himself, other times records series with his wife, Mallory. Uh, I think it is very wholesome content, and it's very fun to enjoy. Uh, I, I understand most of the references in this game, even if I, myself, am not necessarily associated with them. For example, Secret of the Corral. Uh, what, 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 what is this game? Uh, as I said, this was made in a 10-hour stream that Steven did, where if you donated 500 bits, you could suggest something, a single word, and Steven in some way had to incorporate that into the game. Now, now that I think about it, the first word wasn't really a, a single word, but uh, the first word donated, the first donation that was received, simply said, Golden Corral, which I believe is a restaurant, but... I've never been, so forgive me if I uh, don't exactly understand what's going on there. But I figure we could just go on in, and I feel like the game will explain itself for the most part. Uh, I'm not sure how this looks because for some reason XSplit wouldn't record this as it is as a game. It doesn't detect RPG Maker MZ as a game, so I just have to record my monitor. I'm gonna have to crop it. Not sure how that's gonna look, but, uh... We are here. Interesting. The... This feels a little different from MV, but that's okay. Options... Uh, we don't need to always dash. We're not speedrunning this. We are for Gothics the Nut Thief. We don't currently have anything, nor do we have anything to equip in our status. We're pretty fast. As a nut thief should be, I suppose. What is this? Nothing. Okay, we have fish back here. Hello there. Fog Gothics, it's very important that you grab all the stock needed for the buffet. Do you have everything you need? <laughs> of course, Daisy. I've grabbed the bananas, lemons, and the sushi. I think we're all set for the buffet now, yes. When I think of buffet, I think of bananas, lemons, and sushi. A varied assortment of goods. That's a great start, but be sure to also get the raisin toast and liquid eggs. Liquid eggs, Daisy? Uh, I, can't, I can't imagine why we'd need liquid eggs, Daisy. Gordon Ramsay always said... Wait. What was it he said again? Never, ever use liquid eggs, Golden Corral cooks. I don't actually know what Gordon Ramsay sounds like. He's British, right? A and anyway, yeah, that was it. Oh, I guess you're right. But there's one thing that we absolutely must have on the buffet today. And what's that? Sausage rolls. S sausage rolls? We, we never have sausage rolls on the buffet. Yes, but world famous Let's Player Chugga Conroy is here today, and he absolutely must have sausage rolls. Oh, well, Chugga, I mean, I love that guy. You know, he reminds me of me myself sometimes. But I mean, we don't have any sausage rolls in this space, Daisy. But. We do, Far Gothics. You're gonna have to use the secret Golden Corral Tunnel to travel to the capital. Only there will you find the sausage rolls that Chugga seeks. Daisy. Now, I'm not saying you're wrong, 
that do that doesn't change the fact that there are no sausage rolls sausage rolls in this space. Also, why are there no sausage rolls in this space? I guess this isn't this isn't like a freezer. This is just like a stock room. But we have like sushi and, and stuff back here, so I mean anyway, secret golden crown tunnel? I guess that's a bit more important. Oh, I didn't uh there's no such thing, I think is what that said. There is. It was built long ago by Chaz and his army of Cybermen. If you don't know who Chaz is, that doesn't really matter in this story, I think. It still stands today and will lead you to the capital. Will it be dangerous? Yes, very. That's why you must take this automaton with you for your protection. An automaton? Yes, it will help you defeat the monsters in the tunnel. Yeah, it sounds like an automaton. Thank you so much, Daisy. I will return with the sausage rolls for Chugga. Also, I guess I don't need, like, a map or anything. And please hurry. If the sausage rolls aren't here in a timely manner, I am worried there could be some breakfast stabbings. Man, I hate breakfast stabbings. I promise, I'll do my best. Okay, and that's open now. What is this? Can I click this? Okay, you can... Right, you can play with the mouse. I don't really need to play with the mouse, and I kind of wish that thing there wasn't there, but it is. Just as an FYI, you do need equipment weapons to use them. You want to equip that automaton you just got? Yes! For Gothics, equip the automaton. Well, thank you for reminding me. I definitely did not equip it. So what does this do? It horn. It horn? Is it horn? I don't think an automaton is horn. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, a, a, a secret tunnel. This seems a bit more than a tunnel. And, in fact, appears to be somewhat of a maze. And in a maze, you always go right first. Although I guess this is Far Gothic's left, so we'll go this way, which is his right. I guess. I mean, it depends on what you're looking. If I'm looking this way, then right is that way. But if I come down from this way, right is this way. And then up here. And I'm going this way because I know this is where you're supposed to go first anyway. Whoa! Flag Spaghetti emerged. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you could call it that. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. We don't have any special attacks. We don't have any items like a guard, but we could also just attack. Far Gothic's attacks. It does 120 damage. Flying spaghetti attacks and hurts a bit. Hurts a bit. I'm... You know, I'm gonna be honest, in the entire time that uh, Steven did the, uh, the stream and did the first 20. I don't think he ran into the flying spaghetti, which is because the flying spaghetti is supposed to be like the hardest enemy and was weighted less than all the other enemies. And so I'm a little concerned that I'm gonna die before. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, mean, I can't do anything else. Okay, took no I, 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 there's nothing I could do about this. We ran into the hardest enemy, turn one, don't have any items to, to heal. I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm just gonna die. Which is a great... Oh my god, I lived. We didn't even level up! Uh... Hmm... Hmm... It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Should I save? Now? I guess. I guess we have to save, Scum. What is this? What is this? It's mostly scratched out, but it says something about a special cat city. Could that, by chance, be the capital? I'm not sure. What is... Okay. Forgot this put his arm into the hole, but didn't find anything. Interesting. I wonder if someone else could find something. Um. Ah, you're here at last, Fargothics. The ancients foretold of your arrival. The ancients? Like an ancient civilization or something like that? No, I, I mean your manager, Daisy. But also, yeah, she is part of an ancient civilization. I spent a lot of time studying Therno by... Nahum... Uh, crap. Therno... By, by what? No! Uh, ther, ther, thermo... By, bu, bu, mm, mm, no. Oh, wait. Are you talking about thermodynamics? Yeah, yeah. Mm, that's it. Thermodynamics. Anyway... Uh, she was doing a lot of research into the matter with Professor Sporks 15, XV 15, and Mr. Gameboy 18. Why they decided to go with Roman numerals and Ro Roman di digits? What are those called? What are numbers called? If if those are Roman numerals, 
But didn't these come from the Rome? Ah, it doesn't matter. They were aliens from Stargate. Hey, I've heard of the Prolix Professors before. Weren't they the ones who discovered Vibranium? Yeah, yeah, that was them. It was hard to pull them both away from playing classic Doom, but eventually they both discovered that new element. Yeah, what does this have to do with... Why are you... Anyway, there was another scientist too, right? I remember her being on the news. Zoe? As as was mentioned in the, the stream, you might notice that <laughs> the dialogue in this game is kind of just words. Words presented to you in a, in a form that might sound like sentences, might sound like dialogue, but they're, it's a lie, it's not. They're just words because Steven would get a word and had to include it somewhere and where best than just a garbage text dump. Such as, Mariff, so he remembers. That was the person that you know as Daisy. What? Wait. Yeah, what? Hello? It was long ago, back before things were family friendly. This was back in the great Milk Bomb War with Kepi, who had control of the Triforce at the time. What? That seems like a pretty big problem. Yeah, the details of this aren't particularly necessary. Just know that your quest for sausage rolls may not be what you expect. What do you mean sausage rolls in quotation marks? Anyway, I guess that's the on point. You mentioned a Kepi. Isn't that the doctor who took on the evil ones? Yeah, the very same. You'll learn more when the time is right, for Gothics. For now, here's a cat. His name is Bagel. Please, take care of him. Hi. Bagel joined your party. What, a cat? Why do you have this cat? Yeah, he belonged to Jonathan Jonathan, the one known as Rosa John. Damn, I would have preferred a dog or an Eevee. I would have even settled for a lizard of some kind. Maybe a hippo? Apparently pressing zero on the numpad acts as enter. I'm not sure why that's the case, but anyway. I'm allergic to hippos. Yeah, found it the hard way. After spending too much time with my first hippo, Raxi. Also, did I just... I would have preferred anything, even a lizard maybe a hippo like is a hippo a type of lizard in this world i'm so sorry to hear that i once had a hippo i loved as well named fubuki she was wonderful in all the shop yahaha at the top of her hippo lungs man what a talented gal anyway anyway you need to proceed to the capital you're gonna learn more there Meh, a lot more however in order to proceed you'll need this cactus i know it seems strange but trust me Actually, this is a lie. You won't need this cactus to proceed, but it might be helpful. You got the cactus. Uh, why is this cactus so wet? Because I just watered it. <laughs> Good enough for me. See you later. Good luck on your sausage roll quest, Far Gothics. Thanks, big friend. So, can you fit in here, bagel? But didn't find anything. No, nothing in there. Okay. What about this? You know anything about a cat city, buddy? Seems like a gaff friend notices something on the stone tablet. It's some sort of weapon? Weird. Can you use this little guy? Meow. Got the cattle rang. The cattle rang, you say? Man, Fargothics, you are not great. Bagel the sorcerer with one too many eyes. Cattle rang. Increases attack, magic defense, and magic defense. That's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if Fargothics dies if it's game over or if the entire party has to die. So I don't know if Bagel being alive now will save us. Also, I know that Steven added little secrets to everywhere. Like that little hole? That little hole wasn't there before. Junk bot emerged. Okay. Still level one? I don't think Guardi's going to save me, so we're just going to try and... Engine fire? Does that attack everything? My god, I think he's dead. But we're still going. Engine fire does attack everything. That's new. That was not like that before. Anyway, this is Bagel's quest. Morgothics didn't quite make it, but it's fine. It's like Death Road to Canada. We're just picking up with Bagel now. Who is destroying everything? Does Morgothics get XP? No. No, Morgothics does not get XP when he's dead. That's not good. <laughs> Okay, well, I know we can revive him through means. Anyway, that hole wasn't there before. I know there was something else. Well, I, I, I don't know other things that were added exactly. There is something we can use in here, and I guess I'll... I mean, should I use it? I guess not. It's a little 
I say a little cheesy, but first encounter Steven George was Flying Spaghetti Monster. Didn't, did not end well. Uh, yeah, here we are. Would you like to pray to the lamp of Nintendo Switch? You can only pray to this particular lamp once. What an interesting, specific lamp. But yes, I will pray to that. The lamp has heard your cry. You feel the strength return to your body as the lamp disintegrates in front of you. And now we are finally healed as for Gothic, so we can continue with the fight. That pillar over there seems important. Growlithe emerged. Growlithe seems a little different. Just a little different from what I'm uh, familiar with. And also, Engine Fire was definitely a single-use attack in the first 20 and in the stream. Glad it's been buffed! Bagel, uh... Didn't really need it. Bagel was already pretty strong. Anyway, for Gothic, it's fine level 2 and knows Choke Slam. Which, as I recall, is not exactly the most useful thing in the world. Surely, none of these boxes are that important. Also, what is... Nothing here? Okay. Growlithe emerged, horse emerged. Uh, let's try our choke slam on this horse, and then with there's a lot of enemies, so engine fire, horse guards, choke slam, nice, good job for gothics. Okay, really, Bagel seems to be able to handle these guys just fine, and for gothics is already at 75% health. Oh, for gothics, oh buddy, oh guy, nothing here. Or at least I don't have anything for this. There's a thing here. I'm still interested about that hole, but I don't know if that hole was actually important for anything. V. Uh, what? You heard me. I didn't, actually. I heard myself. I read that. Um, also, I don't know that I've been following my er go right in, in dungeons all the time thing. Or in, in mazes. Also, I could sprint, and that's kind of important. A little bit. Oh, a chest. With a dozen firm eggs. They're Lord Donator's personal favorite treat. Okay, what do they do? Safe to eat, as noted by the health inspector. Nothing, apparently. They they heal, I think, 500 HP or something. But of course, it doesn't say that. It's fine. But who who would look at a packet of, package of eggs and the eggs would say they heal 500 HP? You know, they wouldn't. You would just have to uh, uh, know that when you consume the eggs. Uh, I don't really need a choke slam. We can just attack in engine fire. I have a feeling engine fire or Bagel's MP is not gonna run out in time for... Like, I feel like we're gonna level up before we run out of MP, and then we'll get more MP? I don't know if leveling up fully heals you. Also, you... They can drop firm eggs. That's great. Really wish the Flying Spaghetti Monster did! It did! Also, it's just Flying Spaghetti, not Flying Spaghetti Monster. Exactly. Those vines are a little suspicious, but... I can't be rubbing my face into every little thing known to mankind. Also, hello there. What is this? Nothing. Just a pickaxe on the ground. I know there's a pickaxe on the ground. That's a little more important, but we won't be messing with it. Um. You're British, right? Hello, traveler. My name is Shulk. I have many wares for you. A traveling salesperson? All the way down here? Yes, I used to work up at the country buffet, but at some point the manager, Mantissa, asked me to come down here and get some sausage rolls. I've been lost for years. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, that's rough, buddy. What are you, anyway? Some kind of Fire Emblem character? What? No! I'm from a very different series. Perhaps you played it on the Nintendo Switch? No. No, I haven't. I don't have a Nintendo Switch. I do. My family spent all their money on a hydraulic press. That's absolutely poltritudinous. Sometimes family must come first. Learning these life lessons can be difficult, but necessary. It's fine. Anyway, you said you were a salesperson? Or sales pit man? I can speak sometimes. Where did you study your trade? Because that's relevant to this conversation. I want to just look at your wares, good sir. So kind of you to ask. I studied under Magical Molotov, especially in DDR classes at the Savannah College of Art and Design. We had a hoedown every single day. That's... that's really neat. But what does that have to do with sales? Oh, nothing. I had a eureka moment at some point in sophomore year and decided that pursuing DDR was not for me. I can never live up to the danceable stylings of Jaff. Oh. So, you're just doing your own thing now? Yeah. I worked in Cerulean City for a while, selling my special wasabi favored milkshakes, but turns out the gym leader was allergic and I got run out of town. You don't say. What does this have to... Anyway, I'm so sorry this happened to you, Shulk. You had mentioned Country Buffet, because that's important now as well. Yes, how are they doing up there nowadays? 
It's changed to a golden corral now. This angers me for some reason. Ah, that's a positive change. Golden corral is the way to go. Yeah, anyway, this manager, Mantissa, was she a blonde woman about 36 years old? So, if I got this, what does this have to do with it? Yeah, she was. That was her precisely. I think we work for the same woman, Shulk. She's an ancient. For Gothics! For Gothics, I know! We just learned that she is part of an ancient civilization because we talked to Big Friend. But, what if we had talked to this guy first? Because you don't have to talk to Big Friend. I did. But you don't have to. You could go to this guy and then Far Gothics would just be like, She's an ancient! And he'd be like, what? What does that mean, Far Gothics? Whoa! Like Cthulhu? No, not quite. It's not important for now. Let's just talk shop. Finally. Uh... You do have some money, right? Oh no! I don't keep my wallet on me at work! How will I ever afford your wares? Not my problem, dude. If you're broke, even as broke as must say. Who? I still need money to feed my wife Rito. Who? She lives on a strict diet of apple cider, vinegar, and syrup. Shulk, I don't care! Give me the wares! Or don't, because I don't have money. And I can't buy... I didn't get money from the, the things I killed. I, I guess I'll figure something out. What do you need? So I can't sell anything. It's fine. We have sausage rolls. Which is apparently literally why we came down here. It is why we literally came down here. And they are worth 601 rupees. How interesting. Book of Demonology 666 calls for demons from the underworld to help. I bet that would be nice. Book of Hard Words. Learn words like... Nudisterishian and other gobbledygook. Indeed. Clogmaster. Wow. Okay. A strong weapon was once used by Sasquatch himself. 480 attack. That's, uh... <clears throat> I mean, I would like that. I don't want to have that much money, but... And radioactive Hackintosh. It emits a strange incandescent glow. Smells like flex tape. Uh-huh. And then Lionel Hat. Uh, hat made from a top underbelly of a Lionel Mother, which gives us... 10 of something. Not exactly sure what it gives us 10 of. But that's okay. Good luck out there. Thanks, Shulk. I'll uh, try my best. Oh, it's a zombie. Hi. But first, combat. 37 damage. Okay, Choke Slams, he's a little more powerful now. Especially because we start with like 27 TP. You didn't do that in the first 20, I don't think. Good job, good job. Okay. So, really running into the, the flying spaghetti as the first monster was not good. That was really bad. Otherwise, things are going well. Hey, I just wanted to let you know something. Uh, okay. Are you a monster? No. Here's 500 rupees, courtesy of Sparks. Okay, that doesn't really... You're not... I don't, that doesn't... That's not me knowing something new. Anyway, Sparks? Is that like Professor Sporks? Also, we didn't have to talk to Big Friend to talk to this guy either, and then we wouldn't... I mean, I guess we know... Do we know Sporks from the news? Maybe. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. We, we did the dialogue in the correct order that was intended, but, you know. No. Sparks is a sentient chair who spends his time writing haiku and singer Wonderwall down at the Thunderdome Lake. He's also a well-known streamer in the furniture world. I'm learning a lot, and learning way too quickly. It's not that weird, really. They're called chair straps. Chair straps? Listen, I heard you needed some money, and now I'm here. So don't worry yourself with all the details, okay? And hey, there's another silver rupee to go with it. You're a little bit puzzled, but this mummy gave you 600 rupees, so I guess that's cool. Cool. Now... I don't have any more mummy. Uh, I mean, money. God, I hate the person writing this. It's okay, mummy. Now, we could buy those Lionel hats, and they would be helpful. I don't necessarily need them at the moment. And, who knows, there might be something else that we need to buy in the future. I know there wasn't intended to be, but there could be now, I'm not sure. These... These vines are a little strange. These piles, this pile of salt's a little strange. Everything's a little strange. This pillar over here is a little strange. So this pickaxe, just as a note, you talk to it, you might get a little strong. Might get a little strong. Okay, this does nothing. Surely there's something 
down here. Actually, no, this is where we came from. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got to sleep as Bagel. I, I, I'm gonna start skipping the battles. Because I know I could run from them, but I would like Far things to get a little stronger. We're a little not... <laughs> we're not quite as strong as Bagel is is the unfortunate part here. Um, Far Gothic's party was victorious. 35 XP earned. Firm eggs found. Far is now level 3. Did you level faster than... No, you didn't level faster than Bagel. Thought you might have, but you did not. Okay. Words. Numal no trami my cross. What does it mean? I don't know. I don't know what it means, and it doesn't matter. It never mattered. Well, it might, might have mattered to someone at some point, but it doesn't matter now. Got the rib cage. Pierced to have been ripped from Pesh's body. I imagine Barry and Larry weren't thrilled. But these people, you know, Far Gothics. They are rib cage. A rib cage that smells freely of paprika. Interesting. I guess it is in the Golden Corral Tunnel. Perhaps that has something to do with it. That has strange implications. Are... Mm, is it possible that Paprika and the Golden Corral is made from ribcage? I'm not sure. This is entirely possible. It would explain why it is down here. Also, this 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 background. I Curse you. Curse you, Steven George. Curse you, Steven George, for mentioning what the background looks like. And, and, and keeping it that way. Would you like to pray at a lamp of tiny source? You can only pray this particular lamp once. Well, yeah, I have, I have 14 firm eggs, but I don't need to use those right now. I guess these do revive us, so they're kind of more important, but we can't use them in battle. So the lamp is heard to cry. Feel the strength return in your body. The lamp, lamp disintegrates in front of you. Right, and now we're full health and full mana and other things. I don't know if any other pickaxes do things. What is this? Long ago, around the time of the ancients, before the buffet was built, there existed two women, Haley and Mao. They used their durian collecting abilities to smite the evil Peggy, a dark lord from the Hippo Hino Sepig Galaxy. Hip Hippo Rut, what, whatever. Long ago, had they studied thermodynamics, the, the language of the ancients, apparently, and it helped them destroy the vainglorious, glorious creature as it went down in one final. Afterwards, all the ancients celebrated by dancing among their yard toast and eating cheesecake, which was very customary among the ancients. Later, they built a buffet. They just really like a good deal on food. Why is this lord down here in the secret Golden Corral tunnel? That seems odd. Anyway, the boulder in front of you begins to wiggle in an amorous way. I think it wants something you have. Wait, is the cactus in my pocket moving? Listen, for whatever reason, this boulder really likes the cactus in your bottle. I don't know, RPG Maker Man. Boulder has decided to go start a life with this new love. I don't have a choice in this matter, apparently. Okay, goodbye. Probably not gonna run into that spaghetti monster anytime soon again. It was a really unfortunate first encounter. You don't take a lot of damage, but you go down easily enough anyway. More firm eggs. Haven't needed them after that first incident. The leather suit. It's a personal favorite of family jewels. You don't say. Honestly, Bagel probably needs that more. Bagel is not quite as strong. How do I go? There we go. Um, I mean, your defense is a lot lower, Far Gothics, but Bagel has half your health. So we're going to give that to Bagel. Bagel's probably more useful than you anyway, Far Gothics. Just honest. And a bottle of glue. It has the name Ellie written on, on the side in black marker. Right, and we can look at these things. A bottle of glue taken from Polestar Preschool. Neat. Also, we never looked at the cactus, which I think was a key item, but... I think it was... Mm, so it it might have been from Professor Sparks 15? I'm not sure. Doesn't doesn't entirely matter. Um, a lot of those weird spine things. Spine things? Spike things, Damon. They're spike things, not spine things. Hello. The statue seems important somehow, but I'm sure it's fine. The Ancient One Teradiddle from the ancient colony of Collie Wobbles, who was an ancient race of Jolly Duck, always went by the name Duck Noir. Please, write this down. It'll be on the test later. Perform Apple Gungado. It won't. There is a test later, but it won't be on this. For some reason. Well, actually, there won't be a test later, because I have 
Bagel. It's fine. Dang, Bagel. Bagel's now level 4. Of course you are, buddy. Okay. Another lamp. Good friend up there. Good friend up there. Junkbot emerged. Uh-huh. Okay, so leveling up doesn't fully restore your MP, but it's fine. Because there are enough lamps that it doesn't really matter. Hey, kid. Whoa, what's a little kid doing down here in the secret Golden Corral Tunnel? Oh, hey there, mister. I was just wanting to know if you wanted to buy this Game Boy Player disc. Uh, sure, how much? I want the cat. Wait, the, the cat following me around? Yeah, the black cat would go great in my aunt's family collection of figurines. You see, I write fanfiction, take part of some fanfiction, tell that badly. That's weird, kid. It's not that weird. I ran a block on going to start playing every night. I'm so very, 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 no? Mm, I think I'd rather hold on to Bagel for now. I may have you in mind. Okay. Okay. Well, you're here, but... Steven George said recently in one of his, in his last Breath of the Wild stream that one of the things added was another playable character. Why would you get a playable character after the boss? Now, I'm not saying that that thing right there is the boss or anything, but if it was, obviously, if there was another playable character, it would be before that, right? Because there's no combat after the boss. So why would you get a character after the boss? You surely wouldn't. You surely wouldn't. And so I'm still suspicious about that hole. I don't know... I don't know what that... What, what could be in that hole, but... Maybe something. Maybe something. I, I, Bagel couldn't go in there for some reason. Even though it felt like Bagel could go in there. Like, that was the thing. We could still buy the Lionel hats from... Shulk. I mean, maybe Shulk's the playable character. That would be odd, right? I'm not... I'm not sure about that. And I can't, uh... Yeah, you can't return with all the sausage rolls. Gotcha. But we're sure about... Yeah, it's supposed to be, it still says something about the Cat City. This is still unaccessible. Forgot that she put his hole... Okay, okay. Put his arm into the hole, but hey, wait a minute. There really is something here. You found one milk bomb. That's it. One milk bomb. Deals massive damage to every enemy. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Milk bomb. I wonder if I should hold on to that. That sounds... Oh my god. Bagel. Bagel, buddy. Bagel, buddy, come on. Okay. 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 Look, guys. 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 I don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone from this place. This evil land. You fools. We're out there now level 24. Tw level 4, not 24. Level 4 would be a very, very different thing. Chest is empty, obviously. Is it? I also see Steven did not make that uh, on a not transparent background. V. Yeah, hold on. Is this. Ah! There you go! Alright! Looks like you could bomb this wall. Use the milk bomb. I remember in the stream. Steven made this thing in the wall. He made this crack on the wall. And then was like, remember that for later. And the entire stream, nothing happened with the wall. Nothing was ever mentioned about the wall. But I remembered the wall. And I came here and I was like, but there's nothing here. But surely this is where something new would be added. Yes. Okay. Who are you? Thomas? What? Wow. I don't even, like, eh. A Thomas voice. Wow, you found me. What? Who are you? No time to talk. We gotta hurry. Thomas joined your party. Gotcha. Understand. Yeah. 
All right. All right. This is you, this is this is how it, this is how you do it. This is how you do it, Thomas. This is how you how you speed run. Oh my god. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, okay. 500 right. Okay, I thought you were I mean, you are probably you're only level 1, but man, your attack. You have a dragon axe and hard leather. Oh, hard leather, Thomas. Is that is that right? Okay. Okay. Well, I don't actually think there's anything else we can buy, so we're just gonna buy some stuff from. We're gonna buy those Lionel hats. There might be something in the, in the, in the cap, capital. I God, what's happening to me now? Uh, yeah. So what can you do, Thomas? Good bird. You have the good bird, Thomas. 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 You want to play some bee ball, Thomas? Oh man. Oh man. It's good. It's good. It's it's this is Clark Gothic's body was victorious. Thomas is now level two. Good, Thomas. What do you need? We need Lionel Hats. Give him. Give him now. Give him now. Yep, thanks, 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 thanks. Equip. Uh Clark Gothic's hat. Uh equip. Thomas. Hat. Hat, Thomas! Go! Now, the joke here is that Thomas is a good friend of Steven's, and immediately, when this game was being made, said he was going to speedrun the game. This is how you speedrun the game. This is, this is how you do it. Hello. Well, hello there, Frog Alex. Looks like it's time to die! Perseus, sea lion emerged. Now, I know we could beat this, like, instantly, Thomas. But why don't we just... Take our time. Take our time. Maybe guard. Maybe we're not so sure about this battle. Maybe we just need to relax. Let our gothics do some, some damage. You know what, Bagel? You're looking a little low, buddy. Maybe some firm eggs. Maybe you should eat some firm eggs. I don't know. That's that's good for a cat, but whatever. Rib cage. We can use it. Let's use it. Why not, Thomas? The paste. Would you like to use it? Apparently we can. I don't know if it'll be relevant later. Probably not. Bagel is recovered. That's good. The rib cage has done 1,640 damage. And he is now paralyzed. This has gone much better than I thought, but you know what? I'm just not sure about this. I think maybe we need to take a step back. Take a step back just to analyze what's going on here. I don't I don't know what this thing do. Look at it. It's scary. You ever seen a sea lion this scary? It's got like fins. And teeth. Teeth. That's Oh, we're going faster. Okay, that's That's what we waited for. Every every 5, 10, and then 15 turns, the music gets faster, but nothing actually changes. The battle doesn't get difficult. Anyway, uh, choke slam because we can. Engine fire because we can. No wait, hold on, hold on. I'm still not sure about this. There's only one man, one basketball player that can do this. Thomas took a deep breath, and all of his stats have gone up. He is healed. Thomas, attack! Okay, Thomas, that was good. That wasn't actually as strong as it should have been. And so we're gonna we're gonna help you out, Thomas. Just a little bit, just a little bit of help. Now you're doing this. We're just like backing you up here. It's still your mission, your mission to dunk on this sea lion. You still didn't, you still didn't kill him. I don't know how much health he has actually. He has a little more health than I thought he did, and he's also healing now, which is not particularly ideal. We could put him to sleep, Bagel. That might help. Also, we could deep... We could good burn again? Also, we're going real fast now. Are we at 50 turns? Or was that 10? I don't know. Stop healing! Stop that! Go to sleep. Yes! Now, Thomas, with two good burns. I don't know if the effects actually stack or not, but with two of them, I believe that you can initiate the chaos dunk. Okay, well you woke up and you did more damage. So actually you can stack those? Interesting. 
Also, he woke up immediately because we hit him, and that's what generally would probably wake you up, I, I suppose. Excellent hit! 939 damage. Jeez. Okay, Sea Lion was a little buffed from, from last we left off. Last I, I, I witnessed, which is fair because otherwise you would never get to this part of the music. Choke slam! Engine fire! We also didn't get Bagel's best attack. Man, you are... You're kind of hurting me a little bit, aren't you? I didn't expect that. Thomas. Thomas. The ultimate good bird. You must channel your inner Michael K. Jordan. Oh, never mind. But you know what? You helped us anyway, Thomas. Thank you. Flame one. Spell enhancement. Thomas Leno. It's level three. Had to learn. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. I am defeated. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. The beast is gone, and we're going, we're going, we're moving, we're moving and cruising and, and, and schmoozing and moving. Hey there, young fella. Hey there, old timer. Wait, aren't you internet Stephen George? Yep, in the elderly flesh. Oh wow, that's so cool. How is Motion Dan doing? He's my favorite. He's doing great. You could even say he's doing three good. Oh, that's good to hear. Don't you mean that's good, good, good to hear? No. No, I don't. Oh, hey, you brought Bagel. Such a special cat. I'll help you out then. Come see me when you've got the sausage rolls. How do you know about my quest, Stephen George? Come back here when you get the sausage rolls. Okay. Hello, cat. I'm too fast now. We're children, we're children. We're children, we're children. I don't know what this means. I don't get it. It's fine. I'm called Cat Shark. Because if I catch you doing anything fishy, then I'm going to bite you. Try anything. You're going to see hoppers like you wouldn't believe. Okay, cat shark. Hey, I'm also here. Thanks, Rocco. Well done, Golden Crown employee. You have fought long and hard to vanquish all the evil in the secret tunnel, and now you are to be rewarded. Talk to Sagan. Okay. Okay. Hello there, traveler. It seems that you've come for our delicious sausage rolls. Why, yes, I'm here to collect them. That's absolutely, positively, super califragilisticexpialidocious. I would love to bestow onto you the mythical rolls. You finally got the sausage rolls! Thank you so much, buddy. I don't care how long you've been running with the night, pal. I'm not Lionel Richie, and you're not getting spare sausage rolls. Could you at least heal our wounds? Sure, I can do that. Wow, infinite source of heals. I could just power level. I don't know that that would be necessary or worth it. I don't really know. I don't know if Thomas gets anything at level at level five, but. <sighs> Are you ready? Are you all ready? I'm so happy you're here for Gothics. I know you're probably wondering why everybody here in the capital is a cat man instead of cat girl. Yes, in fact, it has angered me to a certain degree due to the absurdity of the entire situation. I would like to know why this is the case. Here, in the capital. Well, long ago, our cat god Spefania was spinning with the one they call Hatsune Miku when Susani thought she had to dance out. With Hatsune, the cat devil skin dog, stepped in one Hatsune's barn. With no one else to turn to, Spefania confided in her friend Fossix, who was both a raven and a bear. Fossix was a raven bear. I've read about this in the ancient text. My buddy, Schizo. Psycho. Psychotic. Psychotic Sonic. Man, his name is a little... Eh. Re read a passage of this ancient text, colloquially known as the Bible, to me about how the battle began. Yes, the battle was, was between Spafania and Skinner was extreme, but in the end, Spafania was victorious. And then it ended up not even working out with Miku, right? Correct, Hatsune Miku was honored by the battle and impressed with Spafania, but it ended up taking his stance from Undertale instead. That's so sad, and I hate that story. It makes me want to smash my head against wood. Yes, unfortunately life is like that sometimes. You take a few hard knocks and then you get back up. Something on Smash Mouth. Alright, it's time for me to leave here. Also, this doesn't explain why you're a cat girl. <sighs> Golden Crown needs those sausage rolls, Far Gothics. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So, I could talk to Steve and George, or I could go back through the tunnel. And I'm not sure anything else is different in the tunnel? What if I talk... Surely. Also, I could still trade Bagel. But I won't. Because why would you trade Bagel? Why would you trade a, a cat for a disc? 
Unless the cat was like a jerk. And I guess Bagel is sometimes a jerk, but not enough to be traded for a disc. So if I like talk to... Oh. 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 Flying spaghetti. You've come back for round two. Oh, you think... You think you're something now. You think you're anything before me, Bark Arthics, Bagel, and Thomas. Specifically, Thomas. User of the good burn. You're not. You are nothing before me. Choke slam. Bagel. Flame one. Thomas, you can't do it yet. And you might not be able to do it by the end of this battle. But you can attack with your dragon axe, and that's pretty good. Choke slam. Mate evaded. Thomas. Thomas, I don't know if we can do this ourselves. I don't know if we can do this, Thomas. I can't even I can't even do the choke slam anymore. I was tired. Bagel can still do the flame, because Bagel's a sorcerer, and that's kind of just how that works. You can just do it again and again and again. With no real issue. Also, I did it. Never mind. Thanks, Thomas, for being here. Level 5, learn Slash. Oh, boy. We're learning things. So. Oh, hey, you got the sausage rolls. Well, so did I all those years ago. Good luck ever getting out of the sound, though, because I could never find my way out. Seriously? Doesn't really seem that hard, to be honest. Listen, man, I've accepted that I'll spend the rest of my life down here, and I'm okay with that. You do have a wife down here, I think. And that's nice. I haven't seen her, but what about your wife, Rito? Oh, what about her? Will you ever see her again? See her again? Fuck off, think she lives down here with me. Here, follow me. Oh? Oh? Cool. Okay, we're learning things today. Things that are new. Anything else going on down here? Hi. That does not look... That character looks very interesting. Welcome to our home for gothics. Please, find all the apple cider vinegar on the floor. It's usually not this messy in here. D you mean don't mind? When you say mind, that would mean you want me to acknowledge it and be bothered by it. Okay, well... Cool. I'm glad you made a home down here. Ah. Er, hmm. That's not a voice you should probably. Ah. So you must be for gothics. I've heard a lot about you from my husband. Also, could I have talked to? No, because you, you remember self switch A, right? Uh, Steven, if I if I hadn't talked to Shulk first, I went to get the sausage rolls and then talked to him. He wouldn't be like, oh, hey, buddy, what's going on? He'd do the first dialogue over again? Maybe. I'm not sure. All good things, I hope. Sure, whatever. I see that you found the sausage rolls. Good luck getting out of here, though. This entire place is like a maze. I really think I can handle it? Not sure why everything is thinks it, everyone, everything thinks it's so difficult, honestly. You want difficult? Oh. Yes! Yes! Yes, Rito! Rito, don't! I'll show you difficult! Rito emerged! Oh! Oh! I used all my items for this, except the firm eggs, but... We now have Slash! 20? Why? Well, that's gonna take a while. Maybe we'll get there. Okay, sleep. Sleep now. You are- you are dangerous. You are very dangerous. Also, I haven't saved in, like, ever, so... Let's not do this! Let's not do this! Thomas. Oh my god. Also, that hurt a lot, but because you hurt me a lot, that gave me TP. I really wish you would hit Bagel in that instance, or Thomas, because then they would get to be able to do their cool things. I'd like to be able to do the cool things as Thomas and Bagel. Parkothix mows down the enemy with his automaton. <laughs> of course he does. Did that do 38 damage? That did do 38 damage, right? I'm, 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 that did like 338 damage or something, right? I'm, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. Also, Bagel, you almost, you're almost dead, buddy. Forgotten is also almost dead, but I think you can handle. Spell enhancement on himself, I, I, I assume is, you can't target that, apparently, which is fine. Forgotten to use firm eggs. Good. It also recovers MP. Cool. Magic attack went up. Okay. Rito. I came here. To play an RPG Maker game, I came here to experience difficulties. And one way or another, I'm going to get my fulfillment out of this game. Thomas! The good burn. <sighs> Thomas breathes on the ball. Which is also a dragon axe, I guess. It's fine, it's an RPG Maker game. It doesn't matter what it is. 
Uh, I could choke slam, or we can wait for the slash, which I surely did more damage than the choke slam, right? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy about this. I wish you could good burn again, Thomas, but you're able to do that like next turn or something. Especially if you get hit. Attacks, 160 damage, flame one. Okay, it's really not doing that much damage, but I'm, I'm guessing you're just really strong? Surely engine fire is not stronger than flame one, right? That's, that would be absurd. I did like 186 or something with, with that. 351, yeah, okay, that's good. Engine fire. There's more than flame one does, right? Am I crazy? I don't, I have very bad memory. Very bad memory. Also, should probably heal you and heal you. Because Thomas, you must good burn again. I know it's already been like five turns, and so the first buff, buff already went down. But for like one turn, you'll be able to do this really good, cool attack. Storm eggs, healed, fire two. Ow. But it didn't hit everyone, which is good, which is very good. Attack, bagel. Uh, I, I, I can't tell if Engine Fire does more. I'm not sure. Also, you can good burn again. Yes, Thomas. Yes. I don't think the, the, the buffs are carrying over because I think we're past five turns. But I'll sleep. Good. Good. That gives us time to buff ourselves up and heal. Can't do flame enhancement. I don't know if guarding gives you TP. So I'm, I, I'm going to do it anyway just so I don't. Well, and Thomas is gonna go. I guess it's fine. Whatever. Okay, just give me TP. Four hundred five damage. Okay. I think we could do it, Thomas. You might not have a skill because you're not level five. You might have learned what at level five. But you know, we're here. We're doing this now. Thomas, attack with your dragon axe. Far Gothics, mow them down. Slash with your tomato. Bagel. Fuck yourself up, buddy. We need that, that steam train to be doing its good old engine fire. Why can you summon a steam train that doesn't engine fire? Why does that do more than flame one? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Good burn. Again. Always good burn. Any chance we can do the good burn. Thomas, you must show off your skills in good burn. That's what you have to do. That is what you do. Engine fire, 231. I don't know how much health you have. I... I'd like to heal Bagel. We're running low on... Well, not really running low on eggs. Exactly. But, also, I could probably buff Magic Attack more than once as well, since Thomas can get multiple buffs, I think. I'm, I, it seemed like they were stacking, but I only really, like, verified it once, and so I might have been crazy. Ah! Okay, I have to heal, like, every turn on Bagel. That is painful. And also, I don't remember how much damage Engine Fire did, so I don't know if Flame 1 does more. <laughs> I should, I should pay attention to these things. What does Flame 1 do? There's 216 damage. Okay. Jeez, you really hate Bagel. You really, really hate Bagel. I don't like that. This Bagel... Is, no, we gave you... We gave you increased defense, but that doesn't help against magic. You know? Which is very unfortunate. Thomas, excellent hit! Nice! Good job, Thomas! Yes! Spell Enhancement, again. Which might have just reset it at this point. Oh, that hurt. Are you getting stronger? Surely not, right? Also, Thomas, I think you have... Actually, does it heal a thousand health? I'm not sure. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so that did 216, engine fire. Which might do more if, we're, if we have two buffs right now. I don't know that we do. Good burn. Good burn. <sighs> That's gonna increase your defense, which is fine. Also, that didn't heal you fully, which is scary. Also, no, Flame 1 definitely did more damage, but only slightly, so I'm not sure it's worth the increased MP, but... Man, we really used all our things on the on the big bad boss and didn't know we were going to go against the big bad boss. Putting you to sleep seems like a good idea, just in general, but then you wake up immediately as we hit you, and it doesn't... It's not totally accurate, but sometimes it works, uh, which is nice. Should I use this turn to heal? I guess. I guess. Spell enhancement. Sperm eggs, Thomas. Everyone shout out on these sperm eggs. Who cares about cholesterol? We need to do this. We don't need to do this. We've already done our 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 our, our job. We have the sausage rolls, but we want to do this. 
to feel fulfilled in this RPG Maker game. And good burn right now. It's okay. We still have the previous good burn going on. Rita wakes up. We hit her once. I don't know if she gets to move, though. No, she doesn't. Okay. Because her, her turn was, was skipped in uh, the order there. You have so much bagel. I don't know that this that this does consecutively buff, but you could basically just do that every single turn. Thomas, I don't I don't know if, if we actually do get stacking buffs. It's hard to tell because there's not like two pluses or whatever, so I don't I don't know or two like up arrows. But I think you are much tankier than everyone else, which is fine because you know you have twice the amount of health as as bagel, so that makes sense. Good burn. Out of the enemy with a slash. 351 damage. Flame one. 170. Yes! Good job, Bagel. We didn't get any XP for that. Okay. Oh, did we just kill her? Oh. Uh, she tried to kill me! What? What am I supposed to do now? I've got nothing for me down here. Just come with me. Could be fun. Sure, alright. Shulk joins your party. Magic Swordsman has joined my party. Has the Monado Blade in <laughs> three time, baby. Also has hard leather. A vest made of leather hardened with glue. I see. Also, I could technically give that to someone else, but I don't. Well, sorry about that, buddy. Cool. Cool. Maybe that's the character that Steven was talking about. Can I eat this? Oh my god, wait, what? Why does it say that you can do that, Steven? <laughs> did... Did you just... Eat... The sausage rolls? Are you serious right now? I... I don't even know what to say, honestly. I'm... Mostly just impressed by your tenacity. I hope it's obvious, but like... You can't beat the game this way. You literally need the sausage rolls. Just go back to Sagan and get some more, I guess. Heaven help me. Okay, I will. But first, we're going to head to Big Friend. I wonder if we can we go can we go back up here now that no can't return without the sausage rolls. Okay, and you probably won't say anything because I don't have the sausage rolls. God, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna reload because <laughs> there's no B bagel might have or not bagel Sagan might have new dialogue but it's not it won't it won't be worth it was there an auto save for uh like before we fought uh Rito oh wow good luck collecting the sausage rolls now get them back to Daisy okay thanks buddy you're here Shulk but now really. There's no one left, left to fight, right? We already we beat everyone. We have the whole party here, but we beat everyone. We did it all. We did everything. We did the good burn. We got no XP for Rito, man. Ice. Okay. Shulk has an ice move as a swordsman. I should probably just basic attack with him then, if it's a magic move. Not that it matters. Again, we don't need to fight anything. I think. I don't... I can't possibly see why we would need to fight anything else. Now, we could go talk to... to Steven. Steven will bring us back to Daisy, but we just walked all this way. If you don't have Bagel, and you talk to... uh, Steven, he'll... say... he'll give you a quiz? On something? On... a, a particular topic? And if you answer correctly, he'll give you the ride back. If not, you have to walk back. We walked back anyway! I'm not sure if there was anything new there. Uh, but I can I can check. We could check because we have Thomas and we can speed run. That's Thomas's ability. We speed run. And so also, you know what? Uh, pickaxe, pickaxe. Make it so where you check that pickaxe is in the tunnel and you get 1,000 XP from Alex. You got 1,000 XP. Everyone is is strong. Everyone real strong. So you now have spell enhancement and fire weapon. Fire weapon. Interesting. <laughs> Thomas, you still only have the good burn. So I can do this only once. Okay. Bagel hasn't learned anything new. 
where Gothics didn't learn anything new. That would have been helpful before the Rito fight, I, I realize, but it's okay. Anyway, we're going to the capital again, just to make sure, to absolutely make positively sure I figured, I found every little secret in this game. And I don't know, because I'm not getting the Game Boy Player disc, so that, I also don't need to pray to this, because Sagan can heal us, but I don't, honestly, also, I can, I can eat the, the sausage rolls now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I will. Uh, <laughs> Here we are! Every time! Every time I'm like, that's the end, there are no more secrets. Steven just manages to surprise me. Holy piss! How did you manage to get everyone here? Like, I didn't even test for this because I assumed it was impossible. Just worked really hard, I guess. It was an astounding amount of work, really. We went real fast! Well, I just want to say congrats, because this is the ultimate secret. If you discover this, there's nothing left to find. Great job. Is that it? You aren't gonna, like, give us something cool? Oh, uh, sure. Enjoy mowing down enemies. Everyone went up 50 levels. Okay, I really need to get back work on the 2018 vlogs. <laughs> what? And you don't even teleport us anymore, Stephen George. Level 50 for everyone. We know dual attack, willpower, first aid, spin crash. Man, oh my god. You know, meteor? Thomas only knows the good brain. <laughs> Only knows the good bird. Only needs to know the good bird. Doesn't need to know anything else. You are you are still children. Yes, hello there, Sagan. I'm here again. Thank you for the same dialogue. I finally got the sausage rolls again. What if... I have to learn. I have to know. Okay, I ate them again. Yes, they're very tasty. Sagan gives them away for free. It's fine. Even though they shouldn't be tasty, it's probably very dangerous to be eating these. But anyway, talk to you again. No, you don't- you don't start over the dialogue. That's good! That's good, Steven! That's good that that doesn't happen. That whole self-switch thing is very nice. Thank you for the sausage rolls. Again! Again! My lord, we've done it. We've done everything. Maybe. We have everyone in the party. Our party is full. We've killed Shulk's wife. We've killed Steven George. By amassing the entire party. And we have used the good burn. The only thing left would be to use Meteor. That's probably difficult, and... Unless I, like, run into the, the, the spaghetti... The flying spaghetti. It really wouldn't be worth it. Or would it? Spin crash. But the pro... Ah, oh, man, I can't. I can't. I, I was gonna do a bit where I get everyone to max TP, and we all unleash our super powerful mega moves. But one of them would hit him, and then he would die, and then the bat battle the battle would be over. <laughs> anyway. My lord, we did it. Hi, Daisy. You did it! I'm sure it was quite a journey. And you've got quite a lot of friends. Shulk, is that... You? Anyway, you did it beautifully. Now go ahead and hand over the sausage rolls. Wait. Is... Oh, hey! There we go! Wait, is that... Shulk? Mantissa? Wow, it's seriously been a while. Guess this is an old country buffet anymore, huh? Shulk, where were you all these years? You never came back! I got lost! I got to the sausage rolls, but I could never find my way out of the tunnel. Seriously? It's really not that hard. Everyone stop saying that! Did you think I wouldn't find out? Uh, find out what? I know your secret, Daisy. I don't know what you're talking about. Would you answer to the better, better than the name Zoe? How about Mantissa as Shulk just referred to you? How many other names do you have anyway? So you heard that. Oh my god, can we hear this hell up? Fine, welcome to the Hyo gang then. What? No, hold on. Aw. Alright, awesome. No idea how I'm gonna explain this to Kevin the others, but we'll figure it out on the way, I guess. Get your things and follow me. Your life is about to change. Total play time, 3,805 seconds. Okay, so, note, if you have Thomas, you can't see all the dialogue. We missed, we missed some lore. You know what? You can watch Steven George's first 20 and get all the lore there. Basically, uh, let's see, how do I, how do I remember this? Everyone's part of this intergalactic inter gang, this, this 
hopefully, that's trying to save the universe from the Dark Lord Peggy, who can only be defeated by Durians, as explained in the prophecy that we read down in the Golden Growl secret tunnel. Um, unfortunately, after we defeated Peggy and we thought she was extinct, she came back and we've exhausted our use of Durians. Thus, we need Vibranium, which are the sausage rolls, but are actually Vibranium. And every few years, Mantissa, Zoe, Daisy comes down here and sends her employee to go get some for fuel for their ship so they can go search for other planets that have Durians with which they will use to defeat Peggy. And now we have joined them because Shulk, or not Shulk, uh, Fargothics insisted. Although I guess Shulk is here now too. And so is Bagel. And so is Thomas. And man, we are going fast. Thank you for playing Secret of the Crowd. This was created live on twitch.tv slash Stephen George with the help of the audience on August 26, 2020. Maybe there will be a sequel someday. That was the journey. Thank you for coming with me on this journey through the Golden Corral. The secret of the Corral, you could say. Thank you all for watching. And maybe when there's a sequel to this game, we'll play that too. And also discover all of the secrets. Because I did it, Stephen George. I think. Unless there was a secret involving the Game Boy Player disc. I'm not sure. I didn't try that. Because I'm not getting rid of Bagel. Because Bagel is obviously going to be in the sequel now. Because that is a canonical ending. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you all next time. In the next video. Or if you just stop by to watch this crazy thing. Hope to see you around some other time. Goodbye.